friends! Welcome back to our channel if you've seen our videos before and if you're new, welcome in! My name is Hope and today we are talking all things Disney and Lily Pulitzer. I have officially, now in spring of 2024, jumped on the Disney Lily Pulitzer train. This train has been going for a few years now. I believe the first collection released in May of 2022. I remember going into the Lily Pulitzer store at Disney Springs and taking a look around and like admiring everything back then because that was the very first time that Disney and Lily Pulitzer had collaborated on a collection. It was super cute. I loved it. It was called Lily Loves Disney and this is the print that they released. I have one piece from it. These are the leggings and I was able to pick these up a little bit after the fact actually um, at the character warehouse. They went on deep discount at the Disney like clearance store and I was able to snag them for myself. But at the time, as you guys know, Lily Pulitzer is quite expensive and so it was really just sightseeing and like taking it all in and looking at all the cute things at that time. Um, but it was a really big deal because like I said, Disney and Lily Pulitzer had never collaborated before and they did a really beautiful job of mixing Mickey and Minnie and Cinderella Castle in with like palm trees and oranges and just very like quintessential Florida things which is what Lily Pulitzer does best and it was super cute. The Lily Loves Disney collection came to the uh, character warehouse store and I was able to snag a piece for myself and I have since fallen in love with them. So these are the leggings in Lily Loves Disney and this is what I picked up for myself. So you can see there's like Mickey and Minnie, you have Cinderella's castle, some bright florals, and the thing that I absolutely love the most about this pattern is the colors. So it's a bright like aqua with hot pink and coral, orange, just really really fun Florida colors. And those colors specifically like seafoam green, and coral like peachy orange um, have been my favorite colors for like my whole life and so that's what drew me to the collection. I was like wow this is so cute. I love these colors. It's great. Super fun. Tried the leggings for the first time. Absolutely love them. I wear them all the time and then to my surprise and delight Lily Pulitzer and Disney came out with a second collaboration in December of 2023. So just a few months ago and this one is kind of a fun spin on the original print. So Lily Loves Disney is making its return. It is the same print as before but they changed up the colors. This one is is like a dark navy blue and then it has like lime green and peach and orange all mixed in on the dark blue so it really pops a lot more and it's just a, a fun contrast of colors compared to the original coloration. So all that to say a few weeks ago Abby and I were strolling through Epcot and we actually saw the entire Lily Pulitzer Lily Loves Disney Part 2 collection and I believe this was in the um, Port of Entry store in Epcot. So we are going to skip to that footage and kind of do like a fun walkthrough of all of this collection and then we will meet right back here in a few minutes and I will share with you guys the pieces that I decided to pick up for myself. So without further ado, let's go to Epcot. Okay, so we are in the Port of Entry store in Epcot and they had, in my opinion, the largest selection of this collection. And what I love about this uh, launch compared to the last one is they mixed a lot of pieces that were successful the first go around and then they also added an additional five or six pieces that were not in the original launch with which I think is so cool. I believe this crossbody was available last time, but it's really cool. We're gonna go step by step and show you all the features that this bag has. Um, I think it would be a really great parks bag because it's on the smaller side and you can wear it as a crossbody or as a wristlet. I will say it's hard to tell in this uh, shot, but it is almost like a neoprene uh, material so it should be water resistant and a little bit resistant to scratches as well which is always a perk. Mm -hmm. 
This is the backpack. I'm showing you on comparison how large it is. It's very similar to the campus backpack from Vera Bradley. However, it doesn't have any sort of uh, pattern to the lining and it's just one zip pocket on the back wall. So not super functional with organization, but very cute. This is one of the new styles available in this collection and it is so cute. So it is like a summer dress with a smocked uh, waist. It has like ruching details on the neckline. And what I am doing a terrible job of showing you right here is that it does have built-in shorts underneath. So it's kind of like a romper meets sundress, so cute. And it does have a lot of elastic, so it's going to be a little bit more forgiving in the summer months. This is the Skipper Popover, which is one of the more popular uh, items from the first launch. So of course they brought it back. And my favorite feature is the kangaroo pocket on the front. I feel like this is a really functional piece. It has the quarter zip, and then it also has long sleeves with the pocket. This here is also a returning piece. That is the V-neck t-shirt. I forget the actual style name, but what I'm showing you here is that I feel like the pattern really pops against this new colorway. So you can see Mickey and Minnie and the oranges a little bit, um, a little bit better, which is fun. Okay, Abby and I have mixed feelings on this tote bag. Let us know in the comments what you think of this style. It is a ginormous canvas beach bag. It does have the pocket on the front, which is nice, and a full breakaway zipper, meaning you can zip it closed, or if you leave it open, the zipper will kind of fold down to the sides and not be in your way. However, there is no lining to this bag. It is just completely white canvas, starch on the inside, and no interior pockets. So we just feel like for the price and the size, they might could have done a little bit more with this style. But I mean, I suppose for just throwing it all in and going to the beach, then <laughs> this is me struggling to put it on my shoulder because there's no long shoulder strap. So yeah, we're on the fence about that style. Let us know what you think. In this release of the collection, they actually did two different styles of shorts. This is the athletic short, so it has like the mesh liner. It's a little bit more of like a running short style. And then the other one, which I'll show in just a second, is the classic scalloped short. And so this is more of a dress short by Lily Pulitzer. It's a super popular style. They do it in a lot of different patterns. Um, and this was what they had in the original launch. So I like how they have a dressy and then also an everyday casual option. I'm checking to see the material content here to let you guys know that it is 100% cotton and definitely more of a stiff, like structured cotton. Here it is, the winner of the day in my opinion, and that is the leggings. These are so great. Spoiler alert, they do come up again later in the video because of course I had to have some for myself. They're just great. They have pockets, they're high-waisted, they have mesh on the bottom so they're nice and breathable. Oh, love these. 
Let me know in a comment down below if you're enjoying this kind of walkthrough collection style video. I have so much fun filming these and I would love to incorporate them more often into the channel. So definitely give the video a thumbs up and let us know if you want to see more. So as you can see, this collection is massive. They actually released some new pieces that were not uh, available in the original collection. Really beautiful, super vibrant colors. I loved it. Uh, but at the time, still a little bit too pricey for me. I'm definitely uh, more of a frugal <laughs> mindset when it comes to things that are, you know, a little bit on the higher end. I was like totally shocked last week. I went to Disney Springs and was walking around the co-op store and a cast member actually told me that the Disney Lily Pulitzer collection was on sale. It was 40% off. And on top of that, they are also doing, they're stacking your discounts. So if you have pass holder, cast member, DVC, you can stack those discounts on top of the 40%. And so that was all I needed to hear music to my ears I ran over <laughs> to the Lily Pulitzer wall and picked out a few pieces so that's my little like PSA to you in this video is if you are local and you want to check out the parks I do believe that it is not just in Disney Springs but in the parks as well 40% off plus I was able to stack by 20% off as a pass holder so such a great deal definitely check it out if you are local and if not I will link the um, shop Disney website down below I know this collection is available to shop online. I don't know if it's on sale though, however. I actually feel like it's not. So if there's something that you can't live without and you wanna check it out, I will put the link down below. But um, yeah, if you want the deals and are coming to Disney World anytime soon, definitely check in store for those deals. Without further ado, let me show you the few pieces that I picked up from this collection. So the first one that I picked up is going to be no surprise to anyone, and that is the leggings. I love my other Lily leggings so much that I decided to pick these up in the new print as well. Here is the print, so beautiful, so stunning. And again, I feel like the print pops even more on the dark background than it does on the original print. And these are officially the Weekender High Rise Leggings in Lily Loves Disney, and they retail for $128. So here is the print a little bit closer up so you guys can see it. We have the castle, we have Mickey and Minnie, have some oranges. These pockets um, are amazing. There's these really deep side pockets on the leggings. And then on the back, you have the Lily Pulitzer logo there on the waistband. So, so cute. I actually, um, I'm thinking about doing a legging review video for you guys. If you would like that, let me know in a comment down below. I can compare and contrast. I uh, would kind of consider myself like a legging connoisseur. I feel like <laughs> I love leggings. I live most of my life in leggings and I have all different brands of leggings and things that I like and dislike about them. So let me know if you want me to do a video on these leggings. I can totally do it. Uh, but they do have like a really fun mesh panel at the bottom in a solid color. So really fun, really cute. We obviously knew I had to add to the legging collection, right? <laughs> So that was the first piece that I picked up. The next piece was to kind of go with that. I can wear them out and about together. And that is the ball cap. So this one is the Lily Loves Disney Run Around hat is what they call the style. It's a baseball cap. It is really cute. Um, I love with Lily, very similar to Vera Bradley, you kind of have to like pick your print. Um, all of them are cut differently and so they're gonna have like different displays of the print. So I went with this one because I had two castles and Mickey and Minnie right on the front. So I have the castles there on the side and then I also had Mickey in this flower which is so cute. That's like my favorite color blue. Here is what the side looks like. It does have the adjustable strap on the back so you can tighten it or loosen it to fit your head, which is a good thing because I have a really big head. So I need that adjustable strap feature for sure. This one retails for $48 and I think these are super cute together. Cannot wait to wear them. I also um, missed out on the hat the first time 
with the original Lily Loves Disney collection. My mom actually picked up the hat from that collection and she loves it. She wears it all the time and it looks super comfortable. So this time I did not make the same mistake and I did not miss out on the ball cap. And the final item that I picked up in this collection was definitely a little bit of a splurge, especially since I live in Florida and it's hot most of the time. But this was a new style that released in this second collection uh, that was not available in the first collection. And I thought it was just super practical and really cute. So I decided to pick it up this go around. The Leona Zip Up Jacket in Lily Loves Disney. So this one is actually a full zip jacket. And in the previous collection, they released the, I think it was called the Skipper Popover. That was like a half zip pullover style jacket. This one is a full zip. You can open it all the way up. It is quite long, so it's more of like a tunic length, so you could totally wear it with leggings. And it does have the same cute Lily zipper pull on the neckline. You can keep the neck up high or you can fold it down. And then it has long sleeves with a little bit of a cuff at the end super cute. I was really excited to see a full jacket. I just feel like for me it's a little bit more practical because I can take it off and tie it around my waist um, if I get hot and it does also have these slip pockets on the side as well. This one retails for $128 as well. So super cute. I officially have the full Lily tuxedo I think is what they call it where you're like head to toe in the same pattern. I am thrilled. Like I mentioned before, the original Lily Loves Disney collection from 2022, the colors of that collection speak to my heart. I love them. They're my favorite colors. However, this 2.0 collection coloration is definitely more practical for me. I wear a lot of blue, a lot of navy, a lot of royal blue, a lot of this like light robin's egg blue. And so I feel like I will just get so much more wear out of these because I can wear them with a lot more of my wardrobe. So I had a great time shopping in Epcot and checking out the collection. Let me know in a comment down below which item is your favorite, uh, which style is your favorite, and let me know down below if you will be checking out the discounted prices in Walt Disney World. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below, do you want to see the leggings review? I can definitely do that for you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.